There you go. Welcome to this adventure. All I'm using is ancient, primitive, mouldy tools. The clothes I'm wearing. And with me I'm taking just one life jacket in case I'm silly enough to venture out there with what I can make. Cut down one tree and plant two. And these little saplings off the animal trail were never going to live up the top, so I brought them down. That's one. And there's the second one there, which I've just put in. I found this beautiful greenstone chisel when I was living in the bush at 15 years of age. This is Harakiki, and it's rope. It's many things. This is a much easier way to get my timber. And we're just about at the hut. First bar for my bed. I cut each piece of canvas right at the base. looking pretty good. We've got some bits of pine in between and flax and that's our final bit of punga for this wall. That fell down on my head, didn't fall from far but far enough to open me up a little bit. Each piece of clatty or flax wood is split and bound with a piece of flax. Half hitch and hit secure. Now we have a space in our room which is a bit more private. And then during the daytime I can use it and take it away from here and put it at the front of the hut as sort of a lean to keep the sun off when it comes down here. Well she's not flash but we can stay in that and that's what we're going to do for the next seven days because the weather's looking really good. Good morning, it's day one and it's just a beautiful morning. The sun's about to come up and we're just going to go and uh, do some foraging, see what we can find. This looks like a piece of beef bone. This is actually a really good score. It's still pretty tough. But I've got some splinters, and uh, with that, we can make a gouge and uh, get it sharp at both ends, like this. And 
and uh, we can put flex around that there and that's a um, it's lodged in the fish's throat. Good score. The idea is to just get this surface stuff off and then we can start to make this into mucker and then make the mucker into string and start to twist them around it, each one around that. It's going to be a, a next long piece. It's now on the, the real good wind, so it's starting to move faster. Well, there's fish jumping by it right now. Well the Kentucky itself works good, it got the uh, line right out there and I've got plenty of line but I didn't catch a fish. Not to say you can't catch a fish but I didn't catch a fish this time. We're harvesting these Pacific oysters. Mmm, delicious. Oh, yum. Only two have made the bag so far. Wild blackberries, a great antioxidant, high in vitamin C. And delicious. Very good for you. Very healthy. These are all green. I could pick them and let them ripen, but they're not that big.
This is the Kawa Kawa berry. Sweet, edible. It's actually a diuretic, but it also has anti-inflammatory qualities. It's going to help my swelled up thumb. Don't eat too many, otherwise you'll poop and pee a lot. Something bit me in my sleep last night. Shellfish make a great bait, but if you cook them like I'm doing here right now on this hot rock in the sun, they'll dry up and shrink and they'll stay on your hook or your gouge a lot longer. That's tied on with a bit of mucker rope and a reef knot. So I'm going to put the gouge through here and through here, but we're just going to put some mucker rope around that as well. Again, I'm finishing my tie up with a reef knot to ensure that it stays on. nothing it looks like there's been a fish on there but it's it's all tangled and it's got off oh we got fish we got fish oh you beauty she works oh. gouge works the hook doesn't work we have fish, and that is legal. There's my hand span there, and two fingers after that is 25, and that's about a 27. <coughs> you can see where the hook's gone down inside his mouth. Bloody hard to get out too. Shit, that works. Oh, that's good. Yeah, just stood on my piece of wood. I've made fire heaps of times with sticks, but when I need it the most, I think I'm tired and I'm making mistakes because I'm tired. Anyway, good night, folks. I'll see you in the morning. I'm shattered. I'm gonna turn this off and sleep. Mulian, Manuka bark. Mahoe and Mahoe to stabilize it in a stick for the dust. Right, we'll come back in about probably three minutes. It's going to take a while to build up some dust and smoke. Well, that was a lot of effort, but we got fire. He's lost his eyes.
good thing about this is it's all native. Mahoe, bit of punga, no pine in there. And that's uh, what's going to make this just taste so much better. It's almost like smoking it. Oh yeah. You can smell that now, starting to cook. Mm -mm. Nice hot embers. And the rocks. Pretty much frying our fish on it. Oh, that's just about ready for eating, I think. I'm a hungry boy. Oh! Next level. Mm. 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 Have to go and catch another one. I think I'm going to try and build a boat. Enough. It's about 10 in each bundle we're making. Tie them with flax at each end. Strong. Go through here. And then I'm splitting the end like this so it becomes two. And I'm going to go under one of the stalks. Back around, just keeps it tighter, back through, making a reef knot here, keeping everything really tight, I'm using my toe to hold it. That's our first two bundles together. Wow. I'll tie this off like that. That's good. Good. Very good. That's a paddle. Beautiful day. There's a couple of birds working just over there. They're catching kahwai diving. The question is, will this uh, mooka be too thick for my lure. I'll show you my lure. This is made out of power, bone, hemp, 
and pine sap. I'm a little bit skeptical about my uh, strands hanging off it, it might be too much. Got a slight offshore breeze, about four or five knots, I've got the sail up. And I'm just correcting myself, you see point just over here, I've gone down the coast a wee way. Fish just jumped right beside me here, so I'm going to put the lure back out. And uh, hopefully that can smack it. Come on, baby, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't take it, didn't take it. Jeez. Let's get some, some distance. Yeah. They're here. We can catch a fish. Just gotta be patient. Jumping all around me. All around me, right here. Well, the birds were out just out here and now they're back in over there you can see them working the water we're going over black water that means there's a little fish look there's kingfish and kawai in there we catch kawai here maybe gonna use our lure tying my lure but my boat's been tested in these waves where all these bait fish are was where i was going to catch a kawai on this if i was going to but the look is just too fat and it doesn't represent the same fish. It's too, uh, shows too much. And we've got too many waves coming in here too. I'm gonna to get a wet ass. So far the gouge is the only thing that's caught fish. So nothing on the uh, Hawa lure. So we'll put this over and see if we can get some, uh, some bites. Got plenty of muscle bait, so. I'm using dual mocker because uh, I don't want to break. Well, the wind's come up, we're moving quite good. She's actually uh, taking us along probably about, oh, I don't know, two, three knots. So not a lot of paddling. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon, been out all day and uh, loving it, really loving it. It's pretty bloody awesome. That uh, wind is just like filling that up nicely. Not too much, not too hard on the boat. And we're just going down the coast. Actually heading over to Mapua. I've developed a huge respect for Māori that lived here in Aotearoa and fished using just primitive tools. It's so hard. Everything's ten times as hard. So I've learnt a lot by doing this. Will I do it again this way? I'm not sure about that. I miss my knife. I miss a sharp knife. I miss tools. Having said that, I gained a lot of knowledge. Thank you for watching and a hearty thank you to my patrons who enable me to have these sorts of uh, holidays and that's what it is. It's a holiday away from reality. Without you guys, I couldn't do this and make these videos, so thank you very much. If you enjoy this content, uh, then subscribe to my Patreon. It doesn't cost much, and you will see all the inside uh, stuff that goes on. I kept patrons up to date on a daily basis when I was doing this in real time. And give it a go yourself. Step out of your comfort zone. You'll be uncomfortable, but you'll come away with something that's hard to put a price on, hard to explain. And be good can't be good be careful right I'm gonna chow down my uh, snapper and my mallow and tomorrow I'm gonna walk out the first thing when I get home is I'm gonna have a coffee